Welcome to Candace Lynn TV. This video will show you how I made this canvas with HTV step by step from getting free images and fonts to uploading Cricut Design Space to applying the heat transfer vinyl to the canvas with just my iron. So first I'm going to show you how to find the images or free images. So go to Safari and I'm going to use Google and change it to images and I'm going to type in scissors clip art black and white. And then once the images come up, I'm going to go through them and find the one that I want to use. And then I'm going to add that to my photos. And the way that you add photos from Google or whatever search engine that you're using to your photos is by clicking on the image. So this is the one that I want to use. And then I'm going to hold my finger down on it. This will pop up and you click add to photos. And now it's added to my photos. I'm going to do the same thing for my ruler image. I searched ruler clip art black and white, found the ruler that I wanted to use and added it to my photos. I already have the crayon from a previous video. So make sure you check that one out and it's in the description box. Now I'm going to get the free fonts from Fonto. So click on the Fonto app to open up the app. And once I do that, I'm going to click on the camera at the bottom in the middle. And then this will pop up on its own. And then you'll click plain images. Once you select plain images, this will come up. And then you're going to pick that white square at the top on the right. Once you do that, this will come up and you'll pick that icon at the top on the right. And then you can click use and save. And this is what your screen should look like. And then you're going to click anywhere on the screen to add text. And then click add text when it comes up. And then you're going to type what you want your text to say. Mine's going to say arts and crafts. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Once I have my text up there, I'm going to show you that there's so many fonts that you can use by clicking on font and it'll show you all the options. I'm not even going through half of the options that you have on Fonto. So there's so many to choose from. And if you can't even find one on Fonto that you like, you can also download fonts from the font and they will come up on the section that says my fonts. So once you click on that, these are the fonts that I got from thefont.com and I have a video about that. I will have the iCard up top as well as the link in the description box for that video. So if it doesn't show a font that you want, you can use one of those. And then to get back, you click that X at the, X at the top of the screen and it's going to get you back to this and then you can click done. Once you click done, this is what your screen is going to look like. And to make things look a little better, you're going to click on style and I'm going to change the color of it. So this is what happens when you click on style and I'm going to just change it to the color black and then click done and it's going to take me back to that previous screen. And once I'm back on the previous screen, I'm going to click move and I'm going to center my text. So once my text is centered, I notice that it's too big so I can basically just click anywhere. And it's going to get me back to this and I'm going to click on size and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that it fits on my actual screen. And I like my stuff to be centered. So once I have it the size that I want it, I'm going to click move and then center it again. So this is just me centering my text. And once it's centered, I can now click the icon at the bottom on the right. And then I'm going to save that image to my photos. Now I'm going to go into Cricut Design Space and put my design together. So click on Cricut Design Space, click New Project, and then I'm going to choose Upload from the bottom toolbar, and then select from Photo Library. And I'm going to start off with my images, so I'm going to start with the scissors. So I'm going to select the scissors. Then this will come up and you got to remove your background, so select Remove. And then you use your finger as a cursor to get rid of the unwanted background. Also, if the sections are really, really small, you can zoom into the image so that you can get those areas as well. I'm going to show you how to do that once I get to the smaller pieces. Like these two pieces, I'm going to have to zoom in and then click to remove that background. And once the background is, well, this one has some text. So you click erase and then use your finger to get that off. And then click next two times. 
and then this screen you're going to select the option to cut name it what you want to name it and then you can save it once you save it this will come up on its own pick the image that you just edited and then click insert i'm going to do the same steps again for the ruler so i'm going to speed it up a little bit upload select from photo library pick the ruler remove the background once the background is removed you can click next two times then you click the option to cut name it save it insert it and there it is now for the crayon I already have that one so you click upload open uploaded images and then find the crayon which I already used for a project and then insert and now it's on the screen with the rest of my images and I'm going to now go in and change the size of them so for the scissors well all of them are gonna be the same size the width is going to be 2 and the height is going to be 8 and you do that up under the option of edit so make sure you edit or, or you're up under edit and then you click the item and change the size and if you need to change the orientation you can tilt it the way you want it to be shown and that's what I did to the crayon and I'm also going to do it to the ruler and like I said the size of my images is going to be 2 is the height 2 is the width and the height is 8 and this is based off my canvas being a 12 by 12 now I'm going to show you how to slice and the first step is I'm going to go into my toolbar and go to shapes and pick a square and I'm going to change the size of that through edit to being a 2 by 2 which is the width of 2 and the height of 2 and then I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to duplicate that because I need one for each image so I need three in total and then I'm going to take the first square and I'm going to place it over my scissors and once I place it there, I'm going to select both images, the scissors and the square, and I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to align it. And then I'm going to center it on the image that I have there. And I'm going to do that for all of them. So this is me trying to see if I could slice them all at once. I'm not going to be able to, but it's okay. So just make sure that you do the same thing that you did to the scissors to the rest of your images. And this is me trying to select all of them to see if I can slice at once. So I'm going to highlight all of them and go to actions and slice is not available. So I have to do them individually. So I'm going to click on the scissors in that square and I'm going to click slice and then I can move the scissors. So this is the part that I'm keeping and the part at the top I'm going to delete. And I'm going to do that to all of my images, the crayon and the ruler as well. Select it, click slice then move the crayon and then get rid of the part that I'm not going to need anymore. And then for the ruler, select them both, slice, move the part that I'm keeping, delete the part that I'm deleting. And that's what we have left is my images have now been sliced. Now I'm going to upload my text into Cricut Design Space that I made in Fonto, doing the same thing that I did to the images earlier. So following the same process of uploading it, select from photo library, picking the image, removing the background, clicking next two times. Then on this screen, you will click cut, name it, save it, and then insert when that comes up. Now the size, I'm going to go to edit and change it to the width of 11 and the height is going to be 1.75 for my text and then I want to go in and make everything the color that the vinyl will be so to do that you just click on the image that you want to change the color of click basic cut change it to whatever color you want it to be and then click apply my scissors are going to be lavender the crayon is going to be in a light pink and then the ruler is going to be a mint color and the arts and crafts it doesn't have a silver glitter color so i'm just going to make that one like a gray or a silver whichever you want to call it so you click on what you want to change the color of and then you go to basic cut at the bottom and once you click basic cut it's going to bring you here change the color and apply it so this is what my svg is going to look like i can go ahead and weld this together if i wanted to but these are different colors so i don't need to do that and then i'm going to click make it once i click make it being that i made them all in different colors i need to put them on the same mat so this is what it looks like first and i'm also going to mirror the images so where you see it saying mirror you just slide all those over for each mat and to get to this there's a little canvas at the top that i clicked on to get to these so i'm just turning on my mirror on for all of them and then i'm going to pick the pink background because i want to put everything on the gray select little dots and then click move object and then select the gray one on this screen 
and it's going to put it on there so i'm going to follow that process for all of my images to their own the same one so go into the green one click on the actual canvas and here you're going to click on the little three dots move image and it's going to move it to the gray one and now i just got to move it because it was up under my crayon and then i'm going to take the last one which is the scissors click on that canvas click on the oval oh, mat click on the little three dots move object and place it on the gray screen once i have them on the same mat i'm going to do the snap mat feature which took me forever but i love this feature i don't know why i probably didn't need to use it but i use it just in case so snap mat feature then click use and now I'm going to align my design up on the proper color. Like I said, the scissors are gonna be lavender, the crayon is light pink, my ruler is mint, and then the arts and crafts is gonna be in the gray at the bottom. So this is just me aligning them on the proper color that I want them to be cut out of. Now I'm just gonna make sure all of my designs are on the correct vinyl and I have them in the correct placement so that they are cut out correctly and they're not overlapping on anything because I did have to put my vinyl shiny side down for the iron on vinyl and then also i had to take mine down because my mat is not wanting to grip anything anymore it needs to be cleaned and then i'm going to click next and then select my cricut and then this screen will pop up on its own and it's the screen that you just basically follow the instructions so step one is make sure you have it on iron on and you have your shiny side face down and you did mirror your image earlier and then you load your mat press go and let it do that and then once it's out you will unload your mat take your vinyl off and then weed your material like i'm doing here i'm only showing you one because anybody got time to watch me do all three and then i'm going to layer my design because i still do not have any parchment paper and that's what's going to mess up my design so if i had parchment paper or if i would have thought about ironing on my this letters first it would have been perfect but no i'm trying to be ambitious like my last one that came out perfect so i tried it again i'm going to basically try to overlay this so that i don't have to use parchment paper and the arts and craft is still protected so that's what you see me doing here is layering that up under here so that when i do iron it on i don't need parchment paper to do it in layers i could do it in one go and i should have just done it in two goes but i didn't have time i did this morning well in the morning before i had to clock in for work so i didn't have enough time to really do the layering method i should have took the time to do the layering but should have would have could have on to the next one Once I have everything lined up, I'm going to take my iron and apply heat to all of the design. Make sure you get the even the smaller parts. I'm even going to turn it over and iron the back just to make sure everything has adhered to my canvas. And then I'm going to turn it back over and remove that backing. And as you can see, some of my stuff was coming off, but it's okay. It's just because I should have layered it, but you know, I should have. I should have layered it. And I'm going to try to fix that with my weeding tool, but really not helping. But I'm going to turn it over and then use my iron to iron the back again. And there you have it. I applied my HTV to my canvas. And here's some more videos for you to watch. And don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe.